Hi dear students, in this special series on subject wise strategy, we are going to identify all the important topics that you must keep in mind before you start working on a subject. We will be looking at the trend for each subject and then mapping it to all the tasks in the app so that you can prepare better and score better. In this video, we will see the strategy for dental anatomy. Now dental anatomy is relatively an easier subject to score. Uh, because you just need to keep in mind the basic anatomy of each tooth. You will see a lot of parallel topics with regards to uh, pedodontics where you have the anatomy of deciduous teeth, also development of occlusion and you will have some features also common to endo with regards to the radicular anatomy of teeth. So you must keep in mind all these variables while you are preparing for dental anatomy. Now the first thing that we are going to focus on is the trend of questions and the average number of questions in DA and that is 7 which comprises of nearly 3% and you can score up to 28 possible marks in your NEET MDS exam and pretty much constant trend over the past 6 years except for 2021 where the trend may have shown lower uh, number of questions because of the possibility of overlap of this subject with many other subjects. So uh, we'll devise a, a strategy for preparation by looking at the questions. So you can see there are uh, questions from previous NEET MDS exam on the right side and then there are topics on the left side. So as we go across, as we run through all these questions, we'll keep assigning them to the specific topics that they belong and we'll get a fair idea as to what's important and what should be your prime area of focus while preparing for DA. So let's start with the first question where you have to identify the age of uh, this given illustration and that would be chronology of uh, deciduous dentition because this is a mixed dentition phase. Then you have uh, presence of bifurcation in single rooted teeth. So that is anatomy of permanent dentition. Then you have to identify a tooth based on the illustration. Again, this is a permanent molar. Then normal class one occlusion. Uh, the upper first premolar occludes with so all the contacts and contours that's occlusion then tooth numbering system 3-3 three, three refers to very simple mesial marginal groove is present on which tooth again anatomy of permanent dentition mesiolingual developmental groove permanent teeth then eruption of permanent tooth occurs after so the topic would be calcification or er eruption of teeth. Then you have an illustration of a primary molar of a four year old child and you have to answer which tooth that is. So identification of each tooth, right and left, first and second molars, primary and permanent, very, very important. The most common natal tooth of the following mandibular incisor. The trapezoidal outline of incisor suggests their similarity in class. So that's regarding the dimensions and angulation and shape of teeth. Which of the following tooth is bilaterally symmetrical when viewed incisally? That's again permanent tooth. The trapezoidal outline with shortest uneven side facing occlusal. This is again the shape of permanent teeth. Then depiction prediction of the age in the given OPG. That's chronology. Which of the following begins to erupt at a given age? That's again chronology. Haplodont terminology with regards to the shape of the tooth. Then in most children, all primary incisors would erupt by the age of. So that's chronology of deciduous dentition. Then distal cusp of mandibular first molar is the smallest cusp. Then oblique ridge is made of. So elevations and depressions would be a right topic for that. Cusp of caribili. Then centric occlusion, the maxillary canine occludes with questions on occlusion. So you can also have questions on occlusion in prosto and in dental anatomy, right? So if you, if you have any doubts ever, the best thing to do is look at the explanation. So this is the explanation for this question, as you can see, very beautifully illustrated and the key concept which is very concise so if you know the answer just read the key concept because it's going to reinforce that concept in your mind 
and if you have any queries regarding the explanation you can always watch the explanatory video so in the explanatory video uh, it will be discussed in a lot of depth in a lot of detail and you will see the scope for a lot of parallel questions that could come along the same lines so make sure you also watch these multiple choice question videos take down whatever necessary notes you can while you are preparing from these videos right then moving on to the next question primary teeth differ from permanent teeth by the bulbous crown so that's primary versus permanent dentition then comparison between permanent mandibular canine and permanent maxillary canine right then cusp of carabella is a feature of again which of the following is not a type of occlusal morphology of mandibular second premolar tooth erupted at the age of 11 to 13 years chronology and elevations leading to occlusal development are developmental grooves are cusps so that's again elevations and depressions now that brings us to the summary of our uh, exercise and what we find is that the anatomy of permanent dentition has maximum number of questions so it's the most important topic when it comes to dental anatomy you must never miss that topic now it's it's a huge topic i know when you talk of anatomy of permanent teeth it could be from incisors to molars but the best way to remember is to solve many questions to solve all the tasks and the questions uh, may also appear from less popular topics like calcification and eruption of teeth shows only one question asked in the past 6 years but that doesn't mean that the topic is less important you you should definitely do all the tasks so when you go to the app the way to apply this finding in the app to incorporate this in your uh, preparation strategy is to work on each task individually right so whatever topics you saw there we have tasks equivalent to those topics and what you need to do is you must go through the content you must prepare each task before you start taking the test so suppose anatomy of permanent dentition you will see bites workbooks and tests so suppose if you click on permanent dentition here there is a video that explains permanent dentition in detail then you have all the tables that you need to know the chronology right and then all these illustrations which appear in the exam are also included as it is from standard textbook so you can take a very good look at all these illustrations right watch videos as many times you like and once you are thoroughly prepared you can take the test or you can just practice your questions independently now at this point of time you must make sure that you are taking down your revision points or making a note of all important points that you come across in the video in your notebook or in your workbook right so make sure that you go through all the content under the subject and complete all the tasks and now i will tell you how to maximize your preparation with meritus app now there are five things to keep in mind when you start your preparation for any subject at any given point of time number 1 is to start with tasks like i said tasks are the building blocks they are your foundation and fundamental for any subject you need to start preparing for the task with the workbook you you must look at the video if you have any doubts regarding the topic and then practice questions and then you can take the test now whenever you are taking a test or practicing questions each question comes with the answer explanation and key concept the explanation will be elaborate it will tell you everything that you need to know about the topic it is a good source of taking down notes because a lot of additional questions can be asked from the existing explanations right and if you are well versed with the topic you can just look at the key concept and reinforce the topic in your mind additionally a lot of questions also come with multiple choice question videos which are explanatory videos they are going to talk about how to eliminate options how to strategically focus on the question and additional knowledge that comes with the topic so your first aim should be to complete all these tasks for a given subject and then move on to the next thing that is q bank now q bank or question bank is a collection of high yield extensive questions they are clubbed together in uh, topics they are clubbed together chapter wise and you will have more hands on experience on difficult and extensive preparation on these questions again they will come with explanatory videos 
explanations and key concepts. So once your tasks and Q bank for a given subject are complete, you are good to appear for the weekly checkpoint tests. Now the tests are of two types in the app. One is the weekly checkpoint test and self-paced test. I'll tell you about the weekly checkpoint test first. So suppose if you are preparing one subject over the week, then at the end of the week, you will have a test which is going to focus on that specific subject plus the subjects that were previously prepared, right? So that kind of snowballs the entire revision strategy. You will have a repeated encounter of multiple subjects from time to time. So you do not forget, it's easier to keep these topics in mind when you constantly see them. So the revision is reinforced. Plus you also get personalized AI recommendations, right? So at the end of your test, based on your performance, you will get how many questions you answered, what was the score, how much was the negative marking, where are you lacking, what are your stronger points? And then it will tell you how much time to dedicate for a revision of your weaker subjects. So with this strategy, you will be able to focus on specific areas that are your weaknesses. Now that is an exceptional feature of Meritor's app. And the next set of tests is self-paced test, which you can take at any given point of time. These are subject wise tests. You can also have cumulative tests, multiple recall questions also incorporated in form of tests. And towards the end of your preparation phase, you will have a lot of volatile factual high yield questions. Uh, in form of final strokes, which are again specialized tests to be able to remember these topics clearly before the exam. Now, once you come closer towards the end of your preparation, you will have access to this special feature of the app called Marathon. This is activated towards the end of your preparation, where you will have 3500 plus high yield questions. High yield questions meaning they have the chances to uh, be seen in the exam because either they are based on recall questions or because they are based on important concepts that are repeatedly seen in the exam. So when you practice these 3500 plus questions, you will also enter an all India competition where you will get a fair idea as to how your performance is with comparison to your colleagues. It's a great boost of confidence if you take it at the right time. And lastly, we have the all famous national mocks, which is a pan India or all India nationwide uh, simulation of NEET MDS exam. We conduct them uh, towards the end of your preparation in a few months to go. And every weekend you will have access to this special test. You will see a lot of new questions in national mocks, uh, which are based on important topics. So do not miss national mocks because it gives you a good hands on experience of the exam. It gives you an idea of time management because this is exactly according to NEET pattern that is 240 questions and three hours with negative marking. So you, you kind of get a very fair and square idea of your performance because this is again an all India competitive uh, mock exam and you will get personalized AI recommendations here as well. Now they are more important for uh, national mocks too because uh, towards the end when you are revising you will not know which subject to pick up at what time and your performance in the national mock will be assessed thoroughly and you will get your AI recommendations which will tell you which subjects to revise. So make sure that you are making use of all of these features in the app. Now apart from that, if there is any query that you have while solving your questions, if you have any doubts regarding any topics, you can always contact the faculty on the WhatsApp group. We are always here to help you. And I hope with this in mind, you'll be able to channelize all your preparation strategy in the right direction. And I hope we'll be able to help you achieve your dream seat in MDS. Thank you so much and good luck from Team Meritors.